the frozen seas are worlds unto themselves. Beneath their ceiling of ice, they have an eerie, almost magical stillness, cut off from the storms that rage above. In the winter, the feeble, slanting rays of the sun bring little warmth, and the temperature seldom rises above minus 50 degrees centigrade. For much of the year, it is dark and cripplingly cold. Yet there is life here at both ends of the Earth, the Arctic and the Antarctic. For most animals, whether they live in or out of water, the winters, when much of the sea is frozen, bring the greatest challenge. the Northern Hemisphere. It's February, and as the Earth tilts on its axis, the sun's rays creep slowly northwards, and the Arctic emerges from its harsh winter. The Arctic is a frozen ocean, surrounded by continents. And when the surface of the sea between the continents freezes from shore to shore, land predators walk out onto it to hunt. It's early March, and the sea is still covered with ice. But there are patches of open water, polynyas, that never freeze over. Here, where tidal currents are squeezed between